I mean, think about it. What's it gonna hurt? We talk all the time about when we should be applying our pre-emergent herbicides. And just a few weeks ago, I did a video that kind of gave a pretty good schedule, especially if you are a warm season lawn owner in the South, for when you should time out your pre-emergence throughout the year to get the best coverage and prevention from weeds. Now, I know the thumbnail says that um, it's never a bad time. Let, let me clarify one thing. It's never a bad time if you have an established lawn. The key word being established. Because if you are planting new seed, that can be a bad time. And if you have new sod, that can be a bad time. Now, this other one, it could be a bad time, depending on how you tackle it. I've got Bermuda grass, and sometimes I'll have some spring dead spot or some winter kill as we green up in the springtime. And when you throw a pre-emergent down, it can prevent those Bermuda grass runners, those stolons above ground, from tacking down into the turf, which kind of makes it harder for those dead spots to fill in. But one way to kind of remedy that is to throw some extra soil or sand or some black cow or something on it to give those runners something to tack down onto. Because when you put a pre-emergent down with new seed or new sod or trying in to fill in those dead spots, the pre-emergent keeps those new seeds from germinating. It keeps that new sod from rooting and establishing and really taking hold, just like it keeps those runners from being able to tack down. So those are bad times, I guess you could say, that you shouldn't use a pre-emergent. But aside from those, it's never a bad time to throw a pre-emergent down. Yeah, in the video, I talk about how I'll do it in September and then around the first of the year, and then again in March to prevent the summer weeds, but say you miss one of those windows. It's okay. Throw it down anyway. I mentioned that I'm not throwing down a pre-emergent right now until everything goes dormant since this sod isn't even a year old yet. But I am going to throw it down when it goes dormant, which will be in November, which doesn't align up with my regular schedule. Sure, will I probably have some weeds that already start germinating, those cool season weeds? Yeah, most likely, because I won't have timed it just right, but you're never going to eliminate all the weeds completely. So even if you miss your window, you can still prevent any others that might germinate and come up. It's a numbers game. So what, you got some come through? Prevent the rest of them from that point on. So that's why I say it is never a bad time to throw a pre-emergent down. Don't get so fixated on saying that, well, I missed this, so I'm gonna have to wait for that time. Look, just get it down. It's going to help regardless, okay? I wanna make something clear though. You know that my favorite line of herbicides are the Spectricide Weed Stop products. I use their weed and grass killer in my flower beds. I use the post-emergent for any of my weed killing needs. And I use their pre-emergent for, obviously, preventing weeds. Now, this is the time of year where you're not worried about the post-emergent stuff. You're worried about the pre-emergent. And I've been asked here recently about the Spectricide Weed Stop for Lawns plus Crabgrass Preventer, okay? In particular on that one. So I use that product as a weed preventer, a pre-emergent herbicide, meaning I don't want the weeds to come up. Post-emergent, weeds are already up, you're gonna kill them. Now, if you go with that Spectricide Crabgrass Preventer, what you're going to see on the bag when it comes to the instructions is that it wants you to spread that product on like a dewy or slightly damp lawn. And it's telling you to do that because that product isn't only a pre-emergent, it is also a post-emergent herbicide. 
So what it wants you to do is spread it that way so it will stick to any weeds that are in your lawn and it will kill them that way acting as a post-emergent. Then once it gets watered in, it will become a pre-emergent. Now, I always say all the time that when I spread that product, I try to do it before rain or if I have to water it in, and I don't follow the bag's instructions. I spread that product on the lawn and immediately get it watered in, so that way it gets down into the soil and it applicates the pre-emergent aspect of the product and forms that barrier in the soil that keeps the weeds from coming up through it and invading our lawn. Okay, now if you want to use it as a pre and post emergent product, sure, go ahead and follow the bag instructions. But if you want to use it just as a pre emergent, spread it on the lawn, water it in. Now, if using it as a post emergent herbicide, the reason why it wants to stick to those leaves is because that's how a lot of these products work. Most, in fact, when you're talking about herbicides, they are foliar products, which means they stick to the leaves, they get on the leaves, they get on the weeds, whatever it is, and that's how they absorb into the plant, work their way down into the roots, and kill them. And I had a comment on my video where I showed how I use the spectricide weed and grass killer in my mulch beds to kill any Bermuda or weeds that are popping up, and somebody made a comment and said, well, it's not going to work when you're spraying it in a bunch of mulch. And that couldn't be further from the truth. When you're spraying that visible leaf, that visible plant above ground, you spray that, it works its way down into the plant, into the roots. Those roots are underground. The plant might be under the mulch, and it will kill the plant that way. Okay? So sometimes the most success when we're talking about pre and post emergent herbicides just works from or comes from knowing how the products work. New lawns, you don't wanna be using pre-emergence or post-emergent herbicides for that matter. Let the lawn established. Let it get established and kinda of just be natural for some time. Once it's established, you can start thinking about how you're gonna tackle weeds from a pre-emergent or post-emergent standpoint. And for this time of year, if it's the fall, you're just talking pre-emergent, get it down whenever you can, water it in so it can activate that active ingredient and it'll prevent weeds, those cool season weeds, from coming up during the winter. Now, another product I mentioned says plus crabgrass preventer. That does not mean that it only prevents crabgrass. For your spring application, that's will when it will prevent the crabgrass in any of the summer weeds, but it also prevents a whole host of other weeds from cool season to warm season weeds. So you are covered if you use that product for most of the ones that you're likely to see a problem with. All right, my friends, I hope that helps you kind of get a better understanding of herbicides and let you know that when we talked about that pre-emergent schedule a couple weeks back, Look, that thing is not set in stone. If you miss your window, get it down anyways because it's going to help to a certain extent. We're not trying to get them all. We're just trying to get most. If you found this video helpful, please, friends, give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate all your support. And guess what? We'll see you next time.